So I've never done a review of anything, this has never been a review channel, but guess what we're doing today? I should probably explain. So recently I got a message from a company called Pablo who said, Hey, you make art, we make stuff to draw art with. If we send you some of our equipment, would you tell us what you think of it? And of course, being a poor, struggling art student, I said, Are you fucking kidding me? Of course, yeah, that'd be awesome. So yeah, I haven't looked inside the box yet, so I'm gonna figure out where to put the camera so you guys would be able to see as well, and then I'm gonna get it set up, and we can try and do a drawing with it. Let's go. So, trying to find a proper setup for my camera didn't quite work. At the minute I have it balanced on top of two dictionaries, on top of a kitchen chair, on top of my work chair. So if the angle changes at some point during this, it's because it's fallen over. Anyway, let's take a look. Ooh. Oh, it's got a sleeve and everything. Whoa! Dang, that's pretty slick. Alright. I feel like all this needs is the Zelda music. I thought you were going to be able to see the tablet straight away, but there's paper in the way. <laughs> I feel like it's worth noting that as I'm taking parts off of this box, I'm just leaving them scattered around my room in horrendous places, so... I'm actually pretty surprised. This is also nicely packaged, like it all looks so slick. Alright, here we go. The actual thing. I feel like that Zelda music is more appropriate now. Look at that! So all of this is gonna have my actual drawing screen on it, so I should be able to draw directly onto this. It's got so many buttons! I think you can align all of these to a different um, keyboard shortcut, so hopefully that'll be pretty handy. Oh, is that a navigator? I'm having a lot of fun with this already, and I haven't even like plugged it in, so... <laughs> Alright, to the secret hidden part. What is this? Oh, this might be the pen, actually, am I right? Place your bets. Is it the pen? Whoa! So, inside of the little box, there's another little box, and it's like a proper carry case, like you get for your glasses, but it's for the pen? Yeah, look at that! It's got little spare nibs in it and everything. What's this? What's this? Oh, that must be the tool to get the nib out. That's so cool! Actually, major props to Pablo for this, because even my Wacom tablet, like, doesn't come this nicely put together. Look at that, it's got a proper little sturdy case for it and everything. That's amazing. That's really handy, because I tend to lose my pens all the time, so I'll actually have a place to put it. And uh, just onto the final part. I think this is probably just going to be, like, the, the wires and stuff, because I don't know where else... Wait. So on the back of the sleeve, it says wireless and battery-free pen, and I thought that just meant the pen, but... Considering how small this box is, I don't know if that's going to be a connector cable, or if the actual whole tablet is wireless. If it is, that'd be amazing. Right, let's let's see if that theory holds any water. Oh wait, no, it's a cable. <laughs> oh okay, no, it's just a really slick cable. That's that's really cool. Oh, and it's got a little wipe down as well. Oh, it came with the glove and everything. Oh my goodness, that's so cool because I didn't I didn't actually have one of these before. So that is that's brilliant. Sorry, I like upturned this entire box. Let me explain the stuff in here. So like. This is obviously to connect it to the computer, so that's nothing too special, but it comes with a cleaning cloth for it as well. And then you put this on, it's like a half glove, so you can still hold your pen and draw and feel the pen, but it doesn't leave grease marks on the screen. And we've got the user manual and the installation CD. Well, that was fun. Um, I'm gonna install some drivers and then we can start doing a drawing with this thing. Alright, so it looks like it's good to go. I only had to plug in one cable and then uh, run the installation CD, and now it's working like a dream. One thing I should point out as well, I didn't have to do any configuration to make it fit the whole screen like this. Um, I have tried one in the past, uh, one tablet, where I had to go through all the window settings and do a bunch of other stuff and it still just would not fit on the screen. This one, you just plug it in and it's good to go. I'm actually so impressed with this. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to draw, but I'm going to put some tunes on and see what we come up with. Let's get to it. So one thing I'm noticing with this is that it's super easy to draw with, like, it just feels like sketching in a notepad.
Alright, so that's the sketch done. It seems pretty appropriate for the situation right now. But the real test is how it's going to colour. As far as I can tell though, the colour matching seems pretty much identical to what I've got on my computer screen, so I'm pretty hopeful, but let's see how we do. And as per usual, I don't know how to end a video. So before Pablo sent this to me, they said that they were trying to improve the sensitivity levels on it, and I could really tell that when I was drawing because it was so responsive to the amount of pressure I was applying um, to each line. Especially when I was doing colour blending, that felt really natural to do, which is very, very nice. And looking between the tablet and my actual computer screen here, the colour matching is pretty much, like, bang on. I might need to adjust the colours slightly, but I think that might just be due to the brightness I have on my laptop screen at the moment. So again, that's, like, I can't, I can't really fault it, actually. It's, it's just really cool. So I know this whole video is going to seem like it's very much sponsored, and I guess technically it is, but I haven't been paid for this or anything, they just sent me the uh, tablet and were like, hey, tell us what you think of it, so... I think it's pretty dang good. Good job. I don't know, I don't have a ranking system. Nine art points out of ten, let's give it that. <laughs> But yeah, thank you again to the guys at Pablo for sending it over, it's been a real treat to be able to test it out like this, and if any of you guys want to check out their stuff, I'm going to leave a link to the Pablo website in the description. Anyway, I think that's all the time I have for today, so thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll hopefully see you next time. Peace out. This is not going to be a regular thing. <laughs>